What's cracking lacking my peoples? This is Grizz Geek and I am on my way to go pick up my buddy Raz Holly of Ruby Bandits. He is a toy reviewer. He's been doing it for, for a while now. And me, I get bored easily. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> if you've been to my channel before, you probably have seen that I've done some let's draws and I've done some post-edited Mimi stuff for anime clips. Other than that, uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So <laughs> let's just add vlogs to the list. Why not? You know? What's crack lacking? You're ready to go already. This is my buddy Rat Holly of Ruby. Bandits. Bandits. <laughs> oh yeah, I was just explaining to everybody that you are a toy reviewer and you actually know what the hell you're doing with your channel. Whereas me, I do let's draws and I don't know what I'm doing. So now I'm jumping into vlogs because <laughs> that's that's the thing to do on YouTube. And I'm documenting yeah. our weekly, bi-weekly, I don't know, whenever we feel like it, uh, toy hunting. Yeah, usually it's bi-weekly. It's usually when I get paid <laughs> that we end up going. This so, is basically how uh, the podcast used to be. This is going to be because, the podcast, just visualize. Because we used to do a podcast called Super Hammer Bros. And that's actually where uh, I kind of launched my... <laughs> my toy reviewing career i guess you could call it yeah and then yeah. he left me he, yep. he got all youtube famous with his after uh... three years <laughs> three years of doing a podcast i was like you know what guys i think i want to do video <laughs> and then we would still do the podcast but i wasn't the editor anymore no i i, I did video. It. and then but i had like a super demanding job at the time so yeah. i i can only do so much whereas like now it's like everything's a little bit more chill to where i can kind of you know i guess feed feed my passion projects a little bit more yeah which i think is good because you were a mess <laughs> yeah it was a fucking uh, disaster i'm trying to see if they're open yet oh who? uh gamestop and murphy canyon oh okay we were doing uh walmart walmart at camino canada okay I know we're going. Oh yeah, Rancho Target. Okay. okay. So places that we haven't hit up in a while. Yeah. And they haven't. And if you haven't guessed it by now, we're from San Diego. <laughs> you know what? I haven't turned off this phone since I got it. Maybe that's the problem. Oh. Now, how do you I don't know. How do you turn it off? These new phones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, isn't it just the same as just like holding the power button until like the sliding button pop pops out? Yeah, you know, that's what I thought. But no, because it's giving me Siri. Oh, well, then ask Siri how to turn it off. Hey, Siri, how do you turn it off? <laughs> oh, my God. What? How do you turn this thing off? <laughs> Wait, did I pass it? No, I don't no. think I did. I was actually going for that parking bag. The bastard <laughs> driver, he fucking took it. Damn you! All right, first stop. Go inside. All right, so we're here at Walmart. This is gonna be our first stop. This is, uh, this right here is Raz Hot what, what are you looking at, Raz? Hmm? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? My Instagram. What are you looking at? So there's nothing there. Well, we got Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. So Chris mm, got some uh, Thin Mints thin and mints. S'mores, and I got my favorite that no one likes, Trefoils. So. Well, people like them, but they just like to add stuff to them. Yeah, I like. I think they're great on their own. What do they call this thing again? Um, um, review. OTS, which is on-the-spot review, because I've never actually had the uh, S'mores version. You're, yeah. you're in on this because technically you bought it it's not a good um trial for me since i'm sick <laughs> it's an even better trial 
because you like, are fat. To me, it just tastes like, like if it was like a chocolate Oreo. It's not a bad cookie. I mean, a Girl Scout cookie is a Girl Scout cookie. They are slightly better than, you know, the, the great value. Mm. Um, what's it called? S'more cookie. I don't actually know if Great Value has s'more cookies, but they do have those sandwich cookies. The cream, cream goat, um, Oreos. Yeah. Did you guys have Hydrox in uh, Canada? Or I did think you guys so. did, or did you guys do Oreos? No, we had, we had Oreos. We, um, still North America. It's not like we, it's not like a completely different country. <laughs> I remember that. It's, it's not like it's like Japan where they just like make up shit for Kit Kats. <laughs> Which is awesome. Yeah, let's just freaking put in freaking like cherry blossoms in our Kit Kats. Oh, this they, is, they are actually pretty awesome. This is not good after having one of those. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I totally ruined like, your experience. It changed the flavor of it. <laughs> but then again, I'm sick, so who knows? Maybe, yeah. Maybe it's because you are sick. <laughs> Trying to go blame my cookies. Okay, so I how many Girl Scouts do we give um, the s'mores? I don't know what, what are you talking for. about? The ranking system. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, you know, a full five out of five is, is a Girl Scout uh, squad. <laughs> I'm going to have to go like, it's going to be kind of weird. Because <laughs> I'm going to be like, I just go with easy, just five stars. Oh, you're going to go with stars? <laughs> I always go with stars or whatever it is, but it's always up to five. One is, because I never do zero. Zeros, that, I think that's stupid when people give zeros. There's, mm -hmm. There should be no such thing. But one, or or halves, like commit. <laughs> Just know? commit to something, damn so it. I actually started to be at the top. So you got five, which is your most favorite thing. Mm -hmm. Then you got four, which is, it's really good. It's, be, it's better than average. Mm -hmm. Three is average. Two is, well, it's bad. And <laughs> one is, you can't, like, you, you just can't finish it. Like, it's, oh, I'm, it's gonna that awful. It. I'm definitely gonna finish it. I would it. say those are four, those are better than average. Yeah, and after tasting that and then having a trefoil, the trefoils are two right now for me. Okay, I gotta go try this. Let me get some of these trefoil things. But yeah, no, this is definitely four Girl Scouts out of five, <laughs> they're not the stars. Okay, you know those butter biscuits that they normally give you for like during afternoon tea? Right. Except there's no butter. No, it, it has a weird aftertaste to it. Mm hmm So, but that's because I had that first. And that's just super chocolatey and... S'mory. It, it just has more flavor to it. A s'more And this, it doesn't have flavor, but it also has like a weird like, like a chemical type aftertaste. Which I've never experienced before, <laughs> with at least with Girl Scout cookies. So mm -hmm. I'll try it now after it's already gone down. I'm hoping that it's just because I had one of those. Yeah, I feel like I need something with it. Mm -hmm. It's just too, too plain. Nope, nope. There, it's back to normal. It was that. Mm -hmm. It was this. I still had the flavor of the s'more. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the mix of it supposed to have like a buttery texture to it yeah because they're like they're butter they're biscuits flavor but to me i just i just couldn't taste the butter probably because of this yeah so you are that, that's what it is yeah it, it's not i think you're i'll stick to this you're right <laughs> right and that has been our ots reviews for girl scout cookies so i don't think it's gonna change like <laughs> i think every year is gonna be the same <laughs> Will you just let me have my fun? This is my video. <laughs> You're just a guest in my video. I'm your co-host this time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Unless we decide to go put the, this video on your on your channel. Then I'm gonna be screwed. Then I'll be a co-host. Although, yeah, although it no would one, be actually kind of funny. And nobody will go to yours. Yeah, although it would be hilarious if all of a sudden, you know, like we put this on your channel, but I'm still the host. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the hell? I didn't come here to go see this guy. Who the hell is this Grizz motherfucker? <laughs> There's a random That's ass a well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Weird. I don't even know what that place is. It's weird. East County is weird. Alright, so stop number two is GameStop. Yep, so this is my favorite GameStop. Uh, 
mainly because the <laughs> workers here actually take care of you. Oh, jeez, you almost hit that. I wasn't expecting him to stop. <laughs> it is a stop sign. <laughs> oh, I, he stopped earlier, <laughs> and I thought he was going to go, but then he stopped again. <laughs> so he did a double stop at a stop sign. My bad. So anyway, all right, so let's see what we come out with. All righty. $89 later, <laughs> I got Juggernaut and Colossus, which I've been looking for to make up my 80s team. And of course, Juggernaut's just awesome. I didn't get nothing. I've been trying to hunt this down for a while. So I finally got the Love Triangle three pack. That's what it's, that's what people are calling it. Oh yeah, this is the bag I chose. I chose it yesterday. It's Goku on one side and Vegeta on the other. I could do my groceries. <laughs> so we got sure that you are not one foot soldier and these were already paid off like a while ago so i just have to come in and pick them up today we got two foot soldiers this one has the axe that one i think comes with uh something else we got the shredder which doesn't look like he comes with a cape and that and if he doesn't that's oh he does he comes with a cape too and we got splinter and well that was a good hunt for you so like i said i didn't get shit we're off to somewhere else, right? Uh, <laughs> I think so, I think. I guess we could do Target, hit it up here yeah. on Convoy. I, I think we're supposed to turn it in here. Oh, are we? Yeah. Because Target's right there. Oh, that's a Target? That's, that's a, well, oh, it's Costco, Costco, but Target's on the other side. Well, they're parked, right? So, oh, I guess mind. you have to wait till the next one. Nope, I'm gonna go ahead and be an asshole. <laughs> Kids don't do that. And, then, an and then next to this is the uh, book up on this side. Oh, so we're doing the reverse. Yeah, we're doing Target first, and then we're doing Book Off. Yeah, because we usually do Book Off, Mitsua, then yep. Target. Yep. Because we're usually coming and then, from and the then other when end. we go to Mitsua, all we do is just get our treats, our snacks. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Snorlax can protect it. There we go. All right. Alrighty, so, so we're at Target. So stop we're three. I'm not gonna lie, part of me kind of wants to get this and try to fit in it and then do the whole, if I fit, I sit. <laughs> but I'm not going to. All right, well, that was a pretty good, um, pretty good target run. So I got the Flash from uh, Spin Masters DC line. Uh, I'm missing uh, Shazam and Arthur with Black Manta, which is, uh, what's his name? The Fishman. Aquaman and Black Manta, two pack, and then Dark Side that comes with uh, Superman, and that's a two pack. And then I got Technique on, um, on clearance because I have the bootleg version. Oh, and then uh, Grizz got me this super cool, have no idea, I know it's Roblox, but man, this cat is so awesome. Yeah, so, so awesome it's I like, ended up getting it It's myself. like an anime cat with like a sombrero, guitar, and a staff of some sort. But that's really cool. Um, I think there's going to be a solo review on this thing uh, real quick. Solo one, review so. or on the spot review! <laughs> <laughs> so this is Roblox Lucky Gatito. Gatito. Discover millions of games. See, it's different games yeah. on Roblox. Uh, Lucky Gatito, if you cross paths with this ex elusive creature consider it your lucky day this fond fine friendly furry feline was designed by roxy one two three four one two it's a, actually it's a really cool thing it's really really well made there's this weird redeemable code thing here you go anybody who wants to go use that code use it i'm not playing <laughs> Yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's a really well made. Um, oh yeah, it's soft plastic. Yeah, it's, it's a soft. Maybe because it's hot, that's why it's like so easy to bend. But yeah. it is soft plastic. Uh, there you go. Put in the. Uh, why are you so hard? Why are you being hard to freaking put on? This sucks. <laughs> it doesn't fit his head. It's supposed to. You kind of have to like jam it in there. Oh, 
That sucks. I mean, I guess once it's on, it's on. It's, I guess. Uh, but like, his his head articulates pretty pretty well. Moves like that. Moves like that. Duh. No, that's at like high range for that thing. Yeah. Boom. Out of out of a ranking score of five blocks, I'm definitely giving him a four point five because I know you don't like point fives. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for twelve bucks, was it worth it? That's the point. <laughs> okay, that's the point off. Yeah, that that was a point off. It was, this thing was twelve bucks, but at the same time, for the articulation, for how well this thing is made, the paint job. I don't really know anything about the actual property of, of Roblox or anything like that. It's cool if they're making action figures for like really uh, like popular characters from like the user base are players and they're just making up characters and you know obviously they need to go have permission like well I don't know if they need to have permission right. if, they, if, they're, if they're using their game they kind of own it. Right. Um, but it's kind of cool that this is you know like a user generated thing. So it's a good figure. It's, a good, it's definitely a good figure. Yes, uh, so. It is kind of small. I don't know how much you can play with it. Right. Uh, like the playability of it, but as a just a cool looking desk yes. trophy, it's pretty cool. I don't think you even really need to know anything about it. You can almost make uh, make it up and just tell people that, like it's from an anime or something. Well, that's probably what I'm gonna do. I guess a real score of four out of five. Guess what? On the spot review. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Another one. Man, back to back. I know. Uh, there you go. All right, more of an open boxing. I got these uh, DC Batman blind box barrel things where it's really hard to prick it open. And I got Clayface. Nice. So I guess the cool thing about this is, is the packaging also kind of, kind of works as a stand for these figures because blow, blammo. And nice. And these, these guys are, were only like four bucks or three ninety nine over at over at Target. I mean, they don't really do much. They're kind of just freestanding. There's no articulation. Again, they're that's kind a of, cool looking play face. But yeah, like he's really really cool. Oh, Nightwing! So now nice. I have a I have a good guy bad guy thing. Oh, oh he's much smaller than I thought. <laughs> Blow! Rock! That's kind of cool. I dig it. For the price, for what you actually get, I mean, four bucks, th this definitely gets five bam batarangs out of five. I mean, it's really super detailed for how small it is. Com comes with a really cool barrel uh, storage thing. The, the tops have these pegs so that you can plug them in and, and store them. It elevates them up a little bit higher so you can actually see them because let's face it, they're gonna be desk trophies. See, there's also Bane, Clayface. Mm -hmm. Batgirl, Scarecrow, a rare Batman with a Batarang, Ooh. a super rare Robin, Ooh. Rebirth Batman, Swamp Batman. So again, we're going with like the hundred different oh. Batmans. Yeah. Uh, a regular Robin, Nightwing, Joker, Harley Quinn, and the Red Hood. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's go. Alrighty. And then Mitsuo. The an elusive Roz <laughs> on the hunt. Let's be quiet as he hunts for his prey. That's a pretty cool Kamala Khan. He seeks his target. Point at. <laughs> okay, so we've... Uh, Where do you went to? Uh, Mitsuwa Mitsuwa. and... Book off, didn't find anything. Yeah, book off. Yeah. Not toys. Yeah. But we got some snacks. So I got some uh, Pocky Almond Crush. Uh, my sister said this is pretty good. And of course, my favorite, the strawberry ones. And I got these Royal Cake uh, pastry stuff. Uh, chocolate, marble, which is the, the uh, chocolate and vanilla, the green tea. This is actually one of my favorites. And then I also got a large uh, Ramunek. And then, I, and then uh, these cheese chips and uh, these pizza chips. And I got this uh, uh, Nanchan Orange soft drink. And I got the big one, which is probably like their family value one, but 
I always get the big one because I'm freaking thirsty all the time. And I will kill this by myself. Within, oh, yeah. an, hour, within an hour, this will be gone. Alrighty, that's pretty much it. Uh, peace! What's up? This is Grizz Geek, and uh, thanks for tuning in to this video. Like, subscribe, share, and all that other fun stuff if you feel like it. Um, this was a weird video experiment that I'm trying to do with this channel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> it's kind of weird that uh, I started off the toy hunting video with food and then ended it with food. That's kind of weird. I think I'm doing this wrong. But then again, I did say I didn't know what I was doing. So you guys have been warned. <laughs> All right. Well, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.